All right, do you hear me? Okay. All right, so I'm recording. Pro Tools is open. I imported a loop. I did a little bit of Beat Detective. That way I can make it a lot tighter. It was recorded without a tempo, so it's all over the place. So you got tools like Beat Detective, use them. Now, before I show you what this video is all about, let's play this uh, loop. I am using a little bit of elastic audio to also help, which is great. This video is all about this one band EQ that ships with your DAW. Nowadays, I know people that are starting out and automatically start grabbing all these, you know, LA-2A emulations, distressed emulations, without knowing what those plugins are adding. They just want them because they know they cost money and they're modeling certain gears. And that's the wrong way to think about this. You have all these wonderful tools inside of your DAW. And this is one of them. Yes, it's a one band EQ, meaning you could only affect one band, right? You could either cut, boost, just as a, there's a, actually a lot that you can do with this. So I'm gonna factory default this plugin and let's just talk about it really quick. So you have your phase, you have your input, you have your type, which is extremely important. You have your high pass, notch, high shelf, low shelf, peak and low pass filter. And over here you have your filter, your frequency, and your gain, and you have this, which we'll get into in a little while. Now, if I have a vocal in front of me, and I wanna cut some of that bottom frequency that I don't need. So what I would do, high pass filter, set it to 20 Hertz, and then I'll mess with the frequency around 70 to 80 Hertz. Now there's no number. There are times I cut a lot higher. It all depends on what's in front of you. Okay, if you go too much, it's gonna sound thin. Now you notice that I was using this knob, the frequency knob to do the adjustments. Now you could also do it this way. Which works just as well. Another thing that I do with this plugin, to cut certain frequencies. So you could put it to notch. Or you can do it how I like to do it. You're gonna press play first and then you're gonna hold down shift and start. So now that I found the frequency that I wanted to get rid of, let's cut it. There are times I'm working on a two track and the artist might want a filter effect. I'll grab a plugin like this. I'll set it to the high pass, go back to 20 Hertz. And I am going to turn on automation. I am going to set it to touch. Let's go ahead and automate the frequency. So control star alt enable automation for frequency and just press play and do your thing. So that's the DigiDesign EQ3 one band EQ. Yeah, I still call it DigiDesign. Look, I get it. This isn't gonna work on everything, but it's a tool that you do have in your arsenal. So use it. Well, I hope you got something out of this video. Later.